Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. The sun is out, but I'm still wearing my sweater. What's up with those Americans, huh? We're supposed to meet here at 11 o'clock at my place and nobody's on time. The only guy who's here on time is the GIV because the Germans are always early. Look at this, the money is on the ground. Welcome to Venice, man. There's the money laying on the ground. You just have to pick it up. Two step. What? Two step. Two step? Two step. What does that mean? Yeah, my name's two step. Two step? Two step, two step, two step. Okay. Everybody call me two step. Okay. You film that video with Mike Tyson. You film with Mike Tyson. That film with Mike Tyson. No, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. <laughs> Have a great day, man. Yeah, this is just a normal day in Venice Beach, California. They filming something here. This is the place to be if you want to be in the movies. Could that be Barbie 2 they filming? I'm not sure. He's just ready to go in the ocean. The Russian retirement home is just relaxing here. He's still pumping the iron. They're showing up all at the same time. But they're late. Look at this. They actually want to get a hand on tail too. And I'm not even open today. Let me see. Should I do one? What is she doing? She bringing her boyfriend down here? And there they are. They're all drinking a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Well, me and Adam are. He got the cold one. All right. Introduce yourself. Nerd locations on YouTube, Instagram, N-E-R-D locations. He actually reminds me of uh, the guy from, what's that show? Where he always looks over the fence. Tool time with Tim Time. Tim time. Yeah, yeah. Tool all time. My, all my photos are like this. In his pictures, you only see half of his face. <laughs> and we got Mr. Thrasher. Mr. Thrasher. Mr. Thrasher. T-H-R-A-S-H-A. All right. Now, who's this guy here? Scott on tape. Scott on tape, yeah, okay. Tape. <laughs> of course, we all know uh, Adam Dabu. Hello. I'm a uh, big bake on the move, all separate separate words. I'm from Alabama. All right, from, from Alabama. Yeah. From He's a true Dallas. crime guy. It's true crime, yeah. Okay, I think I've seen some of your videos. Now that you say it, I remember, okay. I normally don't wear a hat, so people normally see my big bald head. All right. <laughs> and who we got here? Randomly Randy. Randomly Randy. Yep. And I'm the German in Venice, in Venice today. So they're all YouTubers, bloggers, and doing some other stuff. It feels like this is like the Oscar celebration I'm here. Of the, of the oh, Adam is in the, the in the road. road. That's right. <laughs> but uh, what I was saying is, it's like a meetup of YouTubers. Casey Neistat couldn't be here today because he's in New York. But uh, maybe next time, Casey, we're waiting for you. He actually lived in Venice for a while. Another two YouTuber comments got on tape in the 80s room. As we're standing here, we're looking at this beautiful mural, all hand painted. The best basketball players in the world. I like Larry Bird's mustache, the artistic representation of his mustache. Does anybody know Larry Bird's famous nickname? The Bird? Chuck. The hick from French Lick. That is a deep dig on Larry Bird. I'm a fan. Wow. Yeah, you all Seems like they all know each other. I know him. I know him. I know him. <laughs> That's right. But I've been watching his stuff. I always wanted to go and visit the 80s room, you know. He has all this stuff. I can hook you up. That's right. You got his number? <laughs> All right, but look at this gang here right here. Now I feel safe walking around in Venice, yeah. man. But uh, just in case something happened, I got oh. my selfie stick with me, you know? So you never know, this is Venice. Where, 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 were, where were you storing that just now? How did that come out of there? Like, right here, in the oh, back. You literally can't take it anywhere. <laughs> Find me your channel again. You got totally 80s room. Totally 80s yeah. room. Mm -hmm. yep. You gotta go. Coffee, coffees unite. I haven't given you a cheers yet. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Well, everybody's got some cheers. coffee. Cheers. 
Cheers. Water. Water. Cheers. 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 Another vlog I just arrived. This is Mary the Girly Girl on YouTube. Good to see you in person. Good to see you. Look at everybody walking here in Venice. I have no idea what we're going to film. I have nothing planned again. We're just winging it. Like uh, Adam used to say, we're just winging it today. So we'll see what's going to happen. Muscle Beach, California. We love it. Maybe we're going to match up some pictures of Arnold today. This building is actually the building right here. We should have an Arnold on, German. You're standing right here. Where, ah. <laughs> So nine people meeting up at the Muscle Beach here. It's really weird to see all those people I watch on YouTube actually seen here in Venice Beach. What's the name of our group here? You got to... <laughs> the Demonetizers. That's a good name, man. I love it. There's the free Wi-Fi sign, which never works. That's the wall. Let's see the Cage? When I die, bear me in a pyramid. That's good. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Nicholas Cage. You've already done one more than I can do. Yeah. Oh, he's doing it. Look at this. Oh, that's three. That's four. Yep. Yeah. Like the bar. Uh. Good job. Oh wait, you're on the ground. <laughs> Actually fake it until you make it. One love in Venice. They still have the posters up for Memorial Weekend, but I didn't film anything. Right now I put Christina and Conan. All right. And this is how she does it. You can also take pictures with the aliens here. And she has another place. We can take a picture of Venice Beach. This is the tourist stuff you do in Venice. There you go. Good. It's supposed to be an old brothel here called El Bodello Alexandra. And this is where Charlie Chaplin used to hang out. They got all this really cool stuff on top. Oh, it's like a LA tour here. They even have the Venice sign. Yep, that is a crazy house. Really good looking. And those are the Morrison apartments now. But Jim Morrison used to stay on top of that building. That's where he got all his ideas for the songs. Supposedly that's what I heard and you can read it up on the internet too. So Cobra comes along the boardwalk. One of the park, it has not enough space. There's a car park, so he pushes the car in front. And the Hispanic guy comes out and he's like, hey, what's up, what's up? And he just put him in his right place right now. And then if I go over here for a second, there's the scene where he stands right here. You see that white pole in the background right here? This is the matchup for the picture. And at the same spot, there's an old picture of Charlie Chaplin standing here. Normally you can open this up. His apartment was the one with the three windows, right there. Believe it or not, today we got access to the exact apartment where Stallone filmed Cobra. It used to be the old Waldorf Hotel, but now it's called Venice V Hotel. And you can rent the exact room where Sylvester Stallone was filming Cobra. Yep. And if you want to stay here, just call this number. Oh yeah, this is it. Separate rooms. This one so, here? Yes. So if you remember in the little pictures you were showing me there, this this is just a wall. It's okay. not there's no right. door there. But, but he enters is, that one over there. Correct. So he goes down to that door. Walk into Stallone's apartment right here. So the kitchen, it was a kitchen right there. Correct, yeah. This used to be one apartment and the bedroom area and the dining would have been in the other apartment. Okay. The other half of the apartment, right? Right, right. 
That is so cool. So you guys just rent this out like a normal hotel? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Cool. I was right here where he cut the pizza, yeah? <laughs> No, name? no, it's, it's not the original phone. Uh, those are the, the, the phones for the rooms that the guests use. So that's, they're just made to look old. Utilizing the bus into both rooms, but when we turn it into a hotel, you know, we put a wall up and cordoned it off and made it two. You basically walked in here. Yeah, and, and he just sits, he has his desk right there with all the stuff in his chair, grabs the cold box, uh, the cold pizza out of the box. And it cuts it with the scissors. Yeah, yeah that's right. Cold pizza. That's a long time ago. This is where the kitchen was. Right. <laughs> and then this whole window is all the same. It's the same window. Yeah. So the TV was here mm -hmm. and he was here. Like literally <laughs> half a dozen nerds up here. I know. <laughs> but you know, for some people that doesn't mean anything, but for yeah. us, it, it made our day, man. You made our day. Thank you so much. You don't want to leave. You want to stay here. Being that customer service, it's, it's one, one. So when they're getting in the fight scene, Salone and the guy are having the fight here. The Pepsi sign was here. This is the original door that he walks out of to walk in the, what is now the penthouse. And then he throws the guy, I think he throws, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but he throws the guy or like the guy jumps off or something. He goes off that side, goes down the side of the building. You see the fire escape, the fire escape's on that side, the different you know, three or four level fire escape. How long have you tried, how many years have you tried to get up here too? Super view from here, even if you rent this place. Well, now you can check this off your check bucket list. I'm gonna stay here though. Not tonight, guys. At least now I know it's rentable. I know the website. Yeah. They also filmed a lot of Starsky and Hutch up here. The bad guy runs down the stairs here, and when he's here, Stallone shows up and he shoots him, and then he falls down to the ground right here. See, all this just happened because Adam the Woo asked the guy if he can see the room. He actually wanted to rent it. It worked and out well. It worked out really well. The guy was really nice. And he's going to rent the room one day. But lesson learned is if you don't ask, you get, you're going to get nothing. So always ask. What can they say? No. But now all this made our day. Yeah, this is a mirror that's been here for years. The artist is called Rip Kronk and he painted himself climbing up that Venice sign up there. And you can come down here and play free chess. If you win, you get a creepy doll right here. This store just went out of business. Big shoe store, but the rent is so high here in Venice, a lot of people are leaving. See, I painted the I Love Venice on my door. There's a store in Venice. It says I Love Venice. Where did they get that idea from? I wonder. I really like this little shark here on rollerblades. Lots of pictures you see online of the group, the door standing right here, Jim Morrison. Californication ran uh, early 2000s, mid 2000s, seven seasons, David the company. Great TV show. This is his apartment. Hank was his name. Yep. All right. In traffic here, guys. It's the most dramatic, piece of cinema you'll ever see because it's set to Rocket Man and once he whispers in her ear what he did because what the character did is the lowest thing you could do and when she finds out she loses her mind she he runs she runs out here gets in her car and he tries to chase her up the street I mean it's just did you know what he is trying to match up the picture right here of the doors but for sure there's another one here with the Coca-Cola mural there's a picture of the door standing right here underneath the Coca-Cola mirror. They changed it a little bit. The house wasn't here back then. See the white tiles? They're still there. History, doors history. It's pretty cool revisiting all those spots here in Venice with some other YouTubers. It's fun. Here we are at the original Gold's Gym where Arnold Schwarzenegger started out. There's actually pictures of him standing in front of it right here history bodybuilding false gym here you were 150 pounds before <laughs> gold right that's right i, well, well, I, I tried to match up the picture someone kicked sand in my eyes and i said i got to change my momentum here i can see it well it worked out good for you happy for you Arnold. 
right here where all those people are standing. This is where Arnold was standing. Let me find this picture. Yeah, he's posing. You got amazing. Oh my god. Right, look at this here. Come on, you got the flex. Get it, get it pumped. Right here. You are, that's right, little man. This was an open door, and there's a picture of Arnold standing right in front of those two windows here. That was taken right here. Man, some people put some really nice tiles out in those little walkways here. This is on the way to the beach. I can't believe Adam just shared this with me. He got his five Tattoo, on, right tattooed here. on his arm. And that was, why did you get this tattoo? I got that in 2017. I had done five years in a row without missing a day of uploading and filming every day on the Daily Woo channel. That was been five or six years ago though, but I got used to be in this shop right here. It used to be a tattoo shop. And how much was it? Five bucks? It was a hundred bucks. hundred bucks. I got ripped off, but I wanted to do it for the video and I wanted to do it on the day. Man, you're getting ripped off a lot today. You got rid of it the pocket too. I know. Paid 30 <laughs> bucks. Where did you get the Kerplunk one? Not the Hollywood sign, the Venice Beach sign. A nice photo of Venice Beach. You come down here, you see some really cool artwork. Photographs printed on wood. Nice Hollywood sign. Good picture of Al Pacino here. This is the opening scene from White Man Can Jump. Where Woody Harrison walks up here. And they have like a whole bunch of people playing some music right here in the pavilion. So the basketball hoops that were basically right here. And you see Wesley Snipes dunking from here and Woody Harrison. Look, you can't even read the signs anymore. Everything is full of stickers here. White man can jump, photo shoot right in this spot. Unbelievable. After all those years, it's still here. Since the doors were LA banned, they have a lot of pictures and they lived in Venice. There's another picture with them standing right in front of this little pier here. Adam, I know you're used to riding in good cars, but uh, I saw you in video about Mosley's car, the Lamborghini. In Vegas. Let's go take mine for a ride right here. Get in, go on the other side. House from falling down used to be right here with Michael Douglas walking down to the boardwalk. Back then they had all graffitis on the wall. This is a brand new building. And look how nice this is. Last time I drove Adam around and today he's driving me around. It's nice not to drive once in a while. Yeah, I'll be your chauffeur. That's right. Can you go a little bit faster, please? <laughs> Welcome to beautiful Santa Monica now. Let's check out what Santa Monica has to offer. Beautiful. That's actually a good picture. Yeah, good. Let's check out what's going on on the pier. There's one picture I always wanted to match up. Millie Vanilli. Girl, you know, girl, you know, girl, you know, it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you. As you can see, they have his shoes here. Even the feathers there. And that's a box of chocolates he brought with him. But we are here at Baba Gump. They got some really cool shirts. Stupid is as stupid does. Pia's pretty busy today. It's Friday. Got the Baba Gump hat. My mama says I'm special. That's what my mama always told me. Even an angel touched me right here and said, you're special. That's why I got this little dimple right there. I am Forrest, Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. That's another movie I really, really like. I like it that they show all those pictures. This is actually the clothing he was wearing. This is young Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. And this is the picture where he stands at the end of the pier. I'm going to match up that picture in a second. This was right there. Stop, Forrest, stop! This is the original shirt he was wearing when he was running on the bridge. And there he is in Santa Monica. And for no particular reason, I just stopped running. I didn't felt like running anymore. I like all those license plates here. Pretty dope. 
Then one lucky guy made a t-shirt and made millions. And then I named my ship Jenny. This is Forrest Gump's son's outfit from the movie. There's Lutain and Dane. And don't forget to have a nice day. I think I have to work a little bit on my southern accent. I don't think I'm doing a good impression. Lots of vendors. They're reenacting the John Ritter <laughs> picture John. Three's company. It was taken right here on the pier. This is the original picture. Another Offspree helicopter. The wind is killing it again. This is where Forrest went all the way to the end of the pier and decided not to run anymore. And we got another picture of Eddie Murphy at the same spot where Forrest was standing. What is John claude Van Damme doing here at the pier? Route 66. Well, we know for sure that James Dean was here at the Santa Monica Carousel, but we can never find out which horse he was standing in front of because it changed so much. Here we go. It calms you down just watching people on the... Is it called merry-go-round or what do you call those? Merry-go-round or carousel. Carousel. And when you're in Santa Monica, you have to go see the hot dog on the stick store. Even though they rebuilt the whole thing, it's a brand new store that just reopened. But it's been here for a long time. Seagull. Those are the eagles of the sea. What are you waiting for? You want to get one of those french fries here? I know you want to get a piece of the french fries. This looks really good. And what do you think? Is it good? Tastes good? Hot dog on a stick. LA must. So True. good. That's what I said too. So good. How about you? You like it too? My first bite. All right, first let us bite. know. You're a ketchup guy, Ryan? I am a ketchup guy. Well, you got the combo. A little, mm. little mustard. Oh. Mm. Good. Good. Thumbs up for hot dog on a stick. Two thumbs up already. Three thumbs up. Everybody eating here. You want one? No, I'm good. Thank you. Six twenty-five for hot dog on a stick. Adam and me, we're the ones that are suffering right now. It smells so good here, but... Uh, He's on a weight loss measurement and is that not measurement like measurement. is that what you say? Yeah, weight loss plan. Weight loss uh, measurement. Me too. At the end of the year, we both gonna tell you uh, that we lost a little bit more weight. Just a little bit. It's a long way to the end of the year though. Not even halfway there. That's all right. Everybody thinks the original Muscle Beach is in Venice, but it's actually in Santa Monica, right in front of the pier. What's up, German? Hey. What? I'm German. And they still do acrobats on the beach. Nice. He's really strong. Third Street Promenade used to be so busy on a Friday, even in the afternoon. It's like a ghost town now here. It's not that many people. It's just not happening anymore. All those stores are closed. Closed, closed. What? They took that whole building out here. And even the corner restaurant used to be so busy, it's closed. The corner shop over there, closed. The whole stores down there, closed. Police. 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 There's a group, they're matching up some pictures. Police. And all those stores are closed too. Whoa, 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 I'm totally exhausted. Normally we do the ending together, but everybody dispersed in Santa Monica. Adam just dropped me off in my car and I actually have to drive home. Otherwise I fall asleep if we're gonna keep sitting in my car. So I'm doing the ending in my car. It was an amazing day. Met new friends. We learned new locations. And um, I hope you liked this video as well. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up right here. Hit the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice. I want to say thank you for everybody. It was a great day and I see you guys later. I don't think I can hit, I don't think I can hit that camera. That's how tired I am. Anyway, see you guys later. Tschüssing.